This is the N5 Balahadrine to Scrimogue Road project, which runs from Balahadrine in the northwest to Scrimogue in the southeast. This involves construction of approximately 33 kilometres of single carriageway and 15 kilometres of realignment of the existing roads. We are currently undertaking the stage one testing phase of the archaeological program. Basically, what we have here is a GIS or geographic information system, and. The idea being that anywhere that's in space we can put on the screen and know how everything relates to each other in space. At the moment what we're doing is laying out the test trenches and then we'd send the files to surveyors who lay out the trenches on the ground and then the machines dig them. Stage one of the archaeological project consists of test excavations carried out on the approved road development in advance of construction. First, the AMS surveyor pegs out the CPO line, which is the road corridor. And after that, the temporary fencers come along and they fence along the CPO line. The objective of stage one testing is to ascertain the location, nature, date, character, extent and significance of whatever archaeological features or deposits may be discovered by test trenching. A surveyor will mark out the extent of all individual trenches in the testing area using GPS coordinates. In general, these test trenches consist of a centerline trench running along the centerline of the road project, with offset trenches marked out at right angles and regular intervals along the CPO. The trenches target the archaeological and cultural heritage sites identified in the Environmental Impact Assessment Report and any geophysical anomalies of archaeological potential that have been identified in the geophysical survey. The test trenches are at least 1.8 metres wide. Topsoil is removed from the trench in horizontal levels of not more than 0.2 metres in thickness by a mechanical excavator using a toothless bucket until sterile subsoil or the surface of possible archaeological features are exposed throughout. Where potential archaeological features are identified, they are cleaned by hand and recorded, including written descriptions, planning, surveying and taking photographs with appropriate scale and north arrow. The mechanical excavator is under the direct supervision at all times of an excavation supervisor who takes notes. trench, all the trench details, the trench records, we do contact sheets on all the features, and we have a context register and everything is registered, all the numbers that we take out. The testing stage also includes taking bulk soil samples and identification and secure storage of archaeological artefacts. After the testing, the trenches are all backfilled and the area will be returned to in the future if archaeology is present. <laughs>